Hello, I'm going to share with you nine tools that I found uh, to be very helpful in these last three weeks of getting used to my braces uh, and the different things that they require. Uh, so, on the cooking side, there's three tools here that I'll share with you. First, a normal, just everyday coffee grinder. I found helpful to grind up some of those harder dry goods like granola, maybe some nuts, uh, stuff like that that you can't necessarily chew but you still like to have in your diet. I grind personally uh, probably once, twice a week. I grind up a batch of granola. I add it to a bunch of yogurt so I still get that same flavor, something different in the morning. Keep it up, you know, keep it mixed up. Don't get uh, too monotonous with my food. Uh, second one here is a little mini food processor. This is good for your not dry foods, your wet foods, so like tuna salad, potato salad, stuff like that. Maybe some fruit that may be too hard for you to chew up. A little mini food processor, you put it in there, it'll do the chewing for you. And this is the VIP for the last couple weeks. It is an immersion blender, so you get your big bowl of soup or your pot of soup. You stick this guy in there, swizzle around. These little blades there will chop up everything into a nice puree kind of make your uh, baby food type of consistency. But it's great because you can have all the different flavors of different soups that normally you wouldn't be able to chew. Like I had a, a deer steak stew that I love um, and I can't really chew cube steak, you know, that's in the soup. This does it for me. Turns it into liquid, powered through it. It could do anything that's a little bit liquidy, even spaghetti if you wanted to. Just put your immersion blender in there, turn it on, and get ready to go. So tools on the teeth side. This would be the VIP or MVP, sorry, on the tooth side. It is a little travel toothbrush, ultrasonic. You click on this button right here, and it turns on, and it starts vibrating uh, very quickly. It is a Slim Sonic by Vio Light. And it's handy because you got a carrying case. You can take it with you. You really got to brush anytime you eat anything more than soup out in public. And obviously, you're going to brush at home. Uh, so, this is great. A smaller toothbrush head. So, it's easier to get in there around the nooks and crannies. Next, this is a, uh, a gum bristle brush. It's got a wire bristle in the middle and little brush filaments on the sides. Uh, if you don't have time to brush or to floss, if you don't have time and you don't want to floss, this is a good alternative. You can get up in there in between your braces and your teeth like so, like that, kind of clean them out. Uh, and it's a good alternative to flossing, as I said. Uh, next, this is a little wax container. Your orthodontist should give you some. If not, go out and get some. Uh, just good to have around. You peel off yourself a little piece of wax there, and you stick it on any of your braces that are irritating your gums. Next, floss. This is Oral-B uh, Complete Satin Floss. I like this because unlike the other floss that I've tried, it doesn't tear, it doesn't shred as much. It's like a ribbon, so you're able to get it in between your teeth a little bit easier. And if you're going to be flossing, which you need to, you need to use one of these. It is a floss threader. Um, it is just a simple loop of blue plastic that helps to get the floss in between your braces and your teeth. And this is the fluoride toothpaste. It is a clear liquid. It's doctor's choice mint flavor. It's basically just fluoride. Uh, nothing fancy, but that's what I was sent home by my ortho to use every night. Lastly, not least, but most embarrassing definitely of all is this. This is my chew toy for lack of a better word. It is a Nook brand pacifier that I have cut up into uh, bite sized pieces and since I can't chew gum because my teeth just don't get close enough to actually chew gum, this is as close as I can get them, like so. Since I can't chew gum, this is a good alternative. Uh, the orthos say chewing helps to stimulate the blood vessels in your mouth area, your jaw, your muscles, everything are going. So I assume that it helps your teeth move around faster, keeps a healthy mouth. So this is a good alternative. Uh, this Just pop it in. It looks like you're chewing gum. You can't really tell that I'm chewing a piece of a pacifier and it helps to work out my jaw and keep everything nice and active. So I know. Don't knock it until you try it. Anyways, 
here are the nine tools that I found helpful. Check out some of my commercials and videos that I've done for the local television in the area. And, uh, and also look at my Facebook for different photos, updates. You can see photos of me before and after Damon Braces. And um, ask me a question, shoot me a comment. I'd love to help out any way that I can. Thanks. Have a good day.